So we have an assortment of items from a fire, and we're going to talk about things that can be cleaned and what we can expect and what we cannot expect. So this water pitcher, well, it's burnt to the point where I've got a hole in the water pitcher. I've also got molten plastic burnt. There's no amount of cleaning that's ever going to repair this. So this is something you, have a, you take a photo of, you add it to the total loss list, and then you wait until you get your client to sign off on a total loss release. So something like this is getting total lost. So things that we're going to use, I'm gonna, I've got different baskets set up so we can start placing things into the different baskets. So a figurine like this, hand painted, I'm going to go ahead and place into my divider set. We have these knives that I can go ahead and place into because this is a wide edge knife, I can place it into any one of these baskets, but I'm going to go ahead and just use my mesh basket because I'm going to go ahead and put some utensils in there as well. So these will all go into the mesh basket. Now the knife holder. This cannot go into the ultrasonic tank. One, we've got felt and wood. And some of this wood is chipped, so it's going to fill up with water. So this piece here has to go off to the hand washing station. And what I do in order to keep it segregated with the rest of my baskets is I would go ahead and take a red tag and lay it, this won't clip on, and then send it over to my, to my hand washing station. So I'll take this out of frame. Other items that we're going to clean, a water bottle, and again, we want to keep, we want to take the lid off. If we don't remove the cap from it, I'm not going to get water in, I'm not going to be able to get fluid inside where I can cavitate. And this can go into any number of uh, locations with the basket. I have plates. So plates I will go ahead and put into my dish rack kit. So looking at these two plates, obviously the one on my right is much dirtier than the one on the left. So we're going to get different cleaning times depending on how much, how much soot and how, much, how close it was to the fire. Utensils. Now this knife here, if you look closely, it's been burnt beyond recognition. So this would be photographed and TL'd and disposed of or put in my TL list. General utensils, we're going to use our, our mesh basket. So they don't slide through. Things of this nature. So this label as we, is going to pop off because it's going to sit in water. So if you want, you can either remove it before or you can let it soak. Because it's plastic, I'm going to go ahead and put it into my deep basket, knowing that it's going to float on me. Clear glass jar, I'll use one my divider. Got a couple more plates. A cup and a, um, a little glass bowl. These, most people would think, again, that you'd put it into this dish rack set like your dishwasher. But because we're going to drop the basket straight in, that's because of the uh, air bubble, it's going to buoy it, and the buoyancy, it's going to pop out. So I'm going to place these into the dish or into a divider set on their side so that they can fill up with water. And again, I've got a big plastic tub. So all of the plastic I'm going to I'm going to put together in an open container, but that won't fit. So what I'm going to have to do with this is I'm going to have to hand walk it through the system because it won't fit into my basket and it's going to float on me. So I'm going to just put into this final basket items that are plastic. And I think that's about it for plastic.
And if you recall from our earlier discussions, plastic needs to be cleaned at a higher temperature and it takes longer. So we would not necessarily process the plastic right at the same time frame or we would just realize it's going to take longer to go through the process.